You are holy, our Father. You are our Father. You are our God. We are so grateful, Lord, to be known as such in this era. That you are in this world. We belong to you. You belong to us. Saints of God, that I belong to you. You belong to me. You are my Father, you are my God, I am yours, you are mine. That will never change. Ngowako ungowami, aguse kutuge, fulumlo momchele wana logo na Sunday morning, the eighth of the month, yes. New beginning, new week, alina masuka. Zena lina masaka babaya. Zeta la baba saka babaya, ntama saka babaya. Oh, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify your holy name. We magnify your holy name. We exalt your holy name, Almighty God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for loving us with great love. Thank you that we now belong to you. And you belong to us, Almighty God. Zina lina masaka baba yanta masoko. Ye la basa yanta masaka baya. Limbro hashe na masaka baba yanta maseke baba ya. praise we give you glory we magnify your holy name there is none like you there is none like you great jehovah there is none like you almighty father we give you praise we give you glory here are your people dear lord they've come from different homes different locations and father they've come into the house of the lord they've come so that my, my father through your word you may transform their lives, strengthen them further, equip them more and more. Father, I commit them to our help of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come upon each and every one of them in a special way. Yes, reignite their spirits, energize us with a prayer energy. Hey, release your fresh anointing upon them. It's a new week, Lord. Do something new. Help them to keep on improving, improving, improving. Improve the young people who are school going. Grant them that wisdom of heaven so that they perform well educationally. So that they produce the best grades this year. By the unction and the enablement of the Holy Ghost. Help those that are in business. Those in business, may they prosper like Isaac. Because they serve the same God who was saved by Isaac many centuries ago. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, I pray that you help those who are employed to do well in their workplace. Find favor with their bosses. Generate money to meet their needs without stress. Father, let this month of June be a month where you will prosper your people even more for your glory so that those who know them may see that they are called by your name and father i pray that everyone who's sick let that sickness be stopped by the mighty name of jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant those who are believing you for new job openings new business opportunities openings you are a way maker make a way for them those that are believing for job placements in better places. You are a miracle working God. You never get tired of performing wonders for your people. Lift up your hands and say, yes, Lord, it's my new season. Yes, use your mouth. Say, I rise, I shine. By the help of the Holy Spirit, say, I rise, I shine this June. Say, things are getting better for me. Say, there's improvement in my life. Say, my prayer energy increases. Say, I'm getting more wisdom from heaven. Say, new doors are opening for me. Say, I believe. 
believe therefore I speak thank you Jesus take your seat in the presence of the Lord as that and pass Turn to the person next to you say, I will always support you. I will always pray for you. Say, whenever you sit next to me, you must know you are sitting next to a person who wishes the best for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap those hands. Clap those hands. Amen. I want us to continue with our session we started last week the power and the importance of prayer the prayer we are praying for is the restoration of God's glory in our lives what are we praying for the restoration of God's glory in our lives it means in the prayer we are fighting for the restoration of God's plan concerning our lives amen Amen. so in Luke 18 I'll just go through it quick Jesus said men always ought to pray and never get tired Tell your neighbor we win as long as we pray. Why? Because prayer activates the backup of heaven. Did you write that one down? In this church we teach prayer activates the backup of heaven. Case scenario, you remember when Peter was arrested by King Herod? He was supposed to be killed on a Tuesday. He was arrested on Tuesday. Acts chapter 12 verse number 5 says after Peter was arrested. Acts 12 5. Look at it. Constant prayer. Look at, not occasional constant ah, prayer was offered to God for him by the church you see, we need to be a people even when you pray alone in your closet no, at home. in your prayer items just pray for the church and say Lord I pray for every mother in the church every father every sister every brother all, all women all, all men cover the church of God because the devil has waged war against the church. Tell your neighbor, please include me in your Tell prayer item. Tell the person now we're preaching together. Here. Include me in your prayer items. Amen. Amen. Let's cover one another. As the force by which we cover one another is called prayer. Am I communicating? We live in an era where it's like a dog eat dog. No one cares. People care for themselves. As Christians, we must be different. So constant prayer was offered by the church. Peter. Eh? Guess what happened? I'm connecting to the statement I made. Prayer invokes the backup of heaven. When you go to verse 6, they were just praying. When Herod was just about to bring up the night before the guy was to be killed, God dispatched an angel. Go, go to the next verse. Verse 7. God released. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him. What brought the angel from heaven? What, what activated the backup of heaven? Prayer. Let's say the church never prayed. Is it going to survive? Right, the second point. Prayer keeps you surviving the attacks of the devil. The devil has already orchestrated, cooked a nasty accident. But because you are a man of prayer, the devil has already cooked a strange sickness. So to know that in the last days the devil is launching strange sickness. The devil is now launching strange sickness. 
the text. That's why in this season, this era before Jesus comes back, we need to vigilantly stand our ground in the place of prayer. Prayer repels every plant evil against you. Am I communicating? Say, I shall pray. Prayer is a defense system of heaven. Are you writing what I'm saying? As I'm standing here, there's evil planned. Maybe by people who hate me. Or by the devil himself. But by prayer, those plans are overturned. You defend your marriage by prayer, not by complaining. You defend your business by prayer, not by complaining. I'm communicating with Christians. Say, I will defend. You are not convincing me. Say, I will defend. Rise your feet, say it's war. Say it's war. I'm fighting for my destiny. I refuse to be blocked. I refuse to be attacked. I refuse to be defeated. I will fight for my destiny. From this June to December, I'm stepping up the war. I'm stepping up the fight against every attack of the enemy through the system call prayer. Take your seats. Hallelujah. Are you blessed so far? So there was a reason for Jesus said men always ought to pray. And never give up. Prayer causes God to intervene in human affairs. Put in another way. Prayer keeps God intervening on human affairs. Qualified Pastor J. Uh, Second Chronicles chapter 7 14. God says, If my people humble themselves and pray, seek my face and from their sinful ways, I will hear from heaven. You see how the verse starts? If, if simply means you refuse to pray, I refuse to intervene. You suffer on your own. This is a big one. Prayerlessness shuts God out of your affairs. It informs God that it means you don't need Him. That's why the devil ingests us and puts upon us the spirit of prayerlessness. Why? He's a smart devil. The Bible says we are not ignorant of his devices. He knows once you become prayerless, you are attackable. Easy. Because prayer is a defense. So I will defend myself through prayer. Amen and amen. amen. Are you blessed so far? Say prayer is a defense. Prayer invokes the intervention of heaven in matters that pertain to human life. Psalm chapter 5, 0, verse number 15. When we are in trouble, God intervenes. Vince through your prayer. Now say king and kulung kulung kenelela ngakbita ngumtanda so. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read it one two three for read. Increase volume. Look at the verse and, and read it one two three for read. Let me tell you what I've told you again and again. At my age, I've discovered so many dynamics about life. Things going okay today does not guarantee that they'll go okay next time. That changed me, me forever when I understood that. Being healthy now does not guarantee you'll be healthy in December. There are people we buried 
in the last two months. January, it was never in their wildest imagination that they are just about to exit. Life was just happening. Sickness came. Sickness took them. So you need to be a vigilante. You must be vigilant. Life is warfare. Can we talk please? Look at me, what did I say? What did I say? Life is warfare. Every day you wake up to process challenges. Amen. 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 Poverty is the number one enemy of the devil by which he mocks God. Jesus saves them. The devil afflicts us with failure to generate man. So when Christians are struggling and moneyless. Meanwhile, the devil channels man to wrong hands. It's an act of decampaigning God in the face of humanity. So the people will not be interested in our Jesus. It's a serious matter. Poverty is a serious issue. It's one thing we need to fight decisively. Hallelujah. Because you know what is the name of poverty? It's an attack on your dignity. You didn't hear what I've just said. When we are poor people disrespect you, they take you for granted. So when you are a Christian, it becomes an attack on your testimony. So when you say you belong to Jesus, people say, now to Jesus, it's an attack on your testimony. That's why God said through Moses. When I saw this, I said, wow. Deuteronomy 28 verse 8. Because every statement I make must be qualified. People don't respect struggling people. Full stop. It's a natural human phenomenon. Just making useless noise. Mr. Masego, you can talk. 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 can imagine? So poverty is an attack on your dignity, attack on your destiny. That's why we need to pray. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses in all to which you set your hands and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Ah! So they are going to, to Canaan. God says, I will bless. As you do business there, because you are my people, I will bless you. As you do whatever, I will bless you. Whatever you do with your hand, I will. Can you imagine God wants you to prosper in the works you do? So if you work, you run business, you don't see money. The devil is on your case. You cannot see that Go on a fast. Go on prayer. Resist and stand against that condition. Am I communicating? Say I'm ready to fight. Shout say it's war. I didn't hear you say it's war. Say it with an attitude. Say it's war. Write it in your notes. Say from June to December. I'm stepping up the fight. Hey. Say from June to December. I'm stepping up the fight. I'm tired of being blocked. I'm tired of being delayed. I'm tired of being frustrated. I'm tired of the up and down life. I want an upward and forward life condition. Say thank you, Jesus. Hey. 
the Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses. What is a storehouse in today's economy? In today's setup, your bank account. Tell your neighbor, is your account loaded or empty? That's what I prophesy. From this June going forward, God will perform His word. Your account will be loaded. If you believe, say yes, Lord. He wants you to be loaded. Because affluence or to possess material things help you to have a voice. Eh? God wants you to prosper in your hands. Christians, we better do business. Are you understanding? I've never seen a verse that says God will prosper you in your job. I'm still looking for it. I'm telling you, Bazalwan. Have you ever thought of this? There's verse no verse the whole Bible. God says I will prosper you in your job. He prospers you in the work of your hands. Becoming a millionaire is only possible once you become self-employed. He will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Our land is the Christian dome in this, this, in this kingdom of Jesus where we belong. Why does he want to bless you? Verse 10. Verse 10. Same chapter. Verse 10. Ah. Verse 10. Say, ah. Then all the people of the earth shall see that we are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you. That word afraid in the Hebrew is tzikomi. It means they will take you seniors. They will respect you. Rise your feet and say the devil is a loser. The devil is a lie. Say I refuse to be broke. Otherwise I will be taken for Open your mouth and pray and say, My life must lie now with the original order. Say, Oh, you, my life. Touch yourself here. Say, Oh, you, my life. Oh, you, my life. May you lie now with the order of the Bible. God wants me to prosper. God wants me to succeed so that the people who know me may respect me and believe in my God. Pray like a prayer. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, things must change. Poverty must go. Then the people People of the whole world will see, will see, will see, will see, will see that your testimony is true. Your testimony is valid. Your testimony is not a claim. Truly, you are a child of God. They will see through your success. They will see through your prosperity. They will see through your good life. Why they are struggling, you are making it. They say, We see this guy belongs to Jehovah. They say, We see she is a child of God. It's not a claim. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, that heaven is in trouble. I refuse to struggle. I refuse to be broken. I refuse to suffer. I refuse to fail. Oh, Shalina Masakabaya. If you move around, now have a hub. Hey, question. If you move around begging money from people and you call yourself a church member, will people believe in your God? Sense of God, it's war. Say it's war. Please hear me nicely. No, when the devil causes you to suffer, Satan he actually wants to embarrass God in the sight of people on your account. Look at your neighbor and say, ah. Unfortunately, you've got to fight the good fight. 
fight for what is yours. The Bible says Jesus was wounded for you to be healed. He was made poor for you to become rich. He became a curse for you to be blessed. You've got to fight for what was secured. Oh, that devil is a lie. Lift up your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Calvary shall not be in vain. I rise in the name of the Lord to fight for my inheritance. Hey! It's your inheritance. For the Bible says to say, Jesus was wounded for you to be healed. It means he paid for your healing. And then the devil is blocking you. There you are, you are afflicted with sickness from head to toe. The devil throws sickness on you whenever he wants. Because you are not cutting your space. Say that devil is a liar. Shout and say it's war. The devil is all, he just wants to enjoy himself. No, he calls your car to get an accident. We are, we are sleeping at night. A demon is jumping all over you. The demon Calvary shall not be in vain. Say it's war. Say thank you, Jesus. The Bible says Jesus became a curse for us so that the blessing may come to us. Hallelujah. Amen. What does the blessing do? If it is at work in my life, Proverbs 10 22 has told us the blessing of the Lord makes one to be rich. Sorrow is removed. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I now activate the blessing of the Lord in my life. I refuse to live a life of suffering in the name of Jesus. Take your sin. Hallelujah. Are, are you getting? Are you getting it? Ask your neighbor, are you catching it? We are fighting for what is originally yours. God wants you to prosper so that the people of the whole world, those who know you, they see. Now the Bible says the blessing of the Lord makes one to be rich. Every Christian, by reason of the new covenant, you are removed from under the curse and are placed under the blessing. And once you are under the blessing, you are supposed to prosper. Amen. 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 But the devil blocks many Christians because they don't fight for what is legally, biblically theirs. I hear myself. Ask your neighbor, are you fighting for what is legal? Some are waiting for someone to pray for them. If we pray for you, let me tell you for free. You get temporary relief through the, the anointing of that man of God who prays for you. The man of God can pray for you, maybe apparent, and you get a baby, you testify, and the man of God says, hey, God and you one. get that baby. Three years later, the baby become a baby of sorrows. Um, because prosperity is not a product of prayer. Of being grateful. Remember, prosperity is continuous, sustained. Wellness. Am I communicating? So when a pastor prays for you, you get temporary relief. But when you, you, when you stand your ground and speak the promises of God over your life, you create sustained wellness. This is what many Christians are not aware of. You are the prophet of your destiny. Power to decide what happens and what does not happen is in your mouth. Did I help you? 
Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I will use my mouth to create a better life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Then, then uh, Paul writing to the church of Thessalonia. In 1 Thessalonians 5:17. He says, pray without ceasing. I want us to discuss that before we close. Pray without ceasing. I think we, we still have not heard what Paul was saying. Pray without ceasing. As long as your mouth is working, speak the things you want to say. I'm now giving you the meaning of that word. As long as your mouth is working, keep on declaring the promises of God over your life. Because that, that action becomes a weapon that overturns every plant evil against your life. Pray without ceasing. Do you know that people never get tired of talking? There are people who talk. I mean, some people can talk for one hour. But they can't pray for one hour. Look how the devil now diverts the capacity that is supposed to be benefiting me and it goes into waste because I spend an hour talking to a friend we are talking nothing after talk no benefit Genesis 1.31 the last verse in Genesis Genesis 1.31 this is powerful write it as a prayer point anything that is not good in my life must go I like that line that says indeed it was very good it was on the sixth day when God made men he made us to be good good in, in overall life God saw everything that he had made and indeed it was very good Good. Me and you were created to be good in Write it beings. down. You were created to be good to others. Holy Spirit comes into our lives to empower us to be good to other people. God created everything was what was good. Can you this statement I made and it left people shivering. Please, before we discuss this verse, in all the things that God created, He first created the galaxies, the stars, the sky, and then He planted the sun, the moon. Every day the sky is clear, you look up, the stars are perfect. Then he created what is called plant life. You look everywhere, trees and plants and grass are just flourishing. Everything is still as it was. Many, many, many millions of years. Your, your, your avocado tree in your garden. My wife has got avocados in our yard. She, she has planted many trees. There are peaches there. there are we never pray for the avocado to produce avocado. We, we never we had had the, we've never had the tree asking for prayers to have avocados. I mean, I'm a man of God. I've never seen anyone say, Pastor, you need to pray for my dogs, you know. They are not barking the right way. Can you imagine? Your avocado tree produces it without prayer. It is empowered by the original order. Let 
I was driving in the morning. I see cows. They are just eating grass. Oh, they are excited. Life is sweet for the cows. Because I'm talking about all the different things that were created. They are functioning normally. Your cow, in case you've got cows, let me tell you for free. Your cows don't need any prayer. They need grass. The devil interfered with human beings. Look at the birds. The birds, they fly. In fact, any suffering upon a cow, an animal, a bed, a fish, a chicken, even on the trees, once there's suffering on the trees, man is involved. Are you following me? We have even become disturbers of other creations. Say it's war. The birds are flying. And then the men come. So come yes. away and I want to kill it. Because of your stress, you want to kill the bird. The devil has reduced us to troublers of creation. We are still discussing that verse. Everything was what was good. Animal life, everything is okay. Bird life, everything is good. Fish life, everything is good. Plant life, everything is good. Human life, my baby, is disaster. That's why we need to pray. Amen. Matthew 5.13, let's rise. Matthew 5.13. Lembro Hashana Masukanda. Anything that God has not planted. Let's read it in the NIV. Say thank you, Jesus. Say, Father, laziness must go. It was not planted by God. Say jealousy must go. It was not planted by God. Gossiping others must go. It was not planted by God. Bad habits must go. They were not planted by God. Poverty must go. It was not planted by God. Failure must go. It was not planted by God. Open the mouth and begin to pray. And say, Father, perfect everything in my life. In the name of King Jesus. Say, Father, just as Jesus came to this world, the Bible says he went about doing good, restoring those who were afflicted by the devil. Say, Father, help me to be fully restored to the original order. And use me, O oh God, to help others to be restored to wellness. In the name of Jesus, pray. Open the mouth and pray. Makata zea mashakababaya. Lembro kapa zea mashakabaya. Say, Father, anything that God has not planted in my life, it must be uprooted. Sickness must be uprooted. It must be flushed out in the name of the Lord. Say, Father, restore me back to the original order. May I be full of the Holy Spirit. May I be full of the presence of the Lord. May I be good to other human beings. May I be a blessing to other people. In the name of the Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Zenalina masakabaya. Ushalina masakabayana. Lembru hashana masakabaya. Yeshalina masakabaya. Ulabase abashakabaya. Mantalababazeke mashit 
Shetamaya, O Labakayanda Comazea Boschete Baya, Lambra Capazea Boschete Babayana, Ye Lamacayanda Camazea Boschete Sina Masica, Zanalina Masaka Babayanta Mazaka, Lapra Capazata. Let's go to the John chapter 1 to the John. John is praying. Oh my God, he said, Beloved, I pray. I want you to pray and say, Father, help me to prosper in all things. Help my life to be well in every department. In the name of Jesus, he says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things. Just highlight that line, prosper in all things. And be in health. Lift up your hands and say, Father, sickness is not your original order. For my life, I command it to go. I command it to be uprooted. Asthma must be uprooted. Cancer must be uprooted. Diabetes must be uprooted. Pray like you pray. Ulcers must be terminated. Anything that has encroached in my body, which is not the original plan for God for my life, it has to go. Dullness at school must go. I must be sharp and smart in the name of the Lord. Sina la masuka babaya. Zena la masaka bayana. Hey, hey, say Father in the name of Jesus. Wherever I'm blocked so that I don't prosper in life by the blood of the new covenant, I command the release. Let those chains break. In the name of Jesus, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Would it don't get the bobo? Let it change the galash to cause you never to make progress. Let them break in the name of the Lord. Shena lama sakabaya. Ani masuka bashita maya. Yeshali nama sakabaya. Osha pasa tabaya na pray, 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 pray. Lambro hashana masakabaya. Lepro hashana masak. Yes, Shalina Masukabaya. Lendo Kapazea Bushete Babayanda Basaka. Lembra Kapazea Bushete Lama Mazeke Babayanda Masa.